Gold is sounding the alarm, but are you listening? Gold, yes, gold is hitting new highs. We now see people buying gold at Costco in, in massive quantities. Zimbabwe will soon have a new currency. The Southern African nation is replacing its collapsing local currency with a new one backed by gold and foreign currencies. By doing so, its central bank hopes to stabilize and bring down inflation. In the last 12 months, gold has continued to hit all-time highs, rising 34%. And although there are those who focus on short-term price fluctuations, history has taught us that you don't buy gold and silver to turn around and sell it. You buy gold and silver because you have lost faith in the fiat system. With inflation still on the rise, the war in the Middle East escalating, and BRICS bloc countries targeting the dollar, the warning signs for your wealth are unmistakable. And if you're not paying attention, you could lose everything. So what is gold really trying to tell us, and how can we use this information to protect our wealth? Since 2020, the US national debt has climbed by over 12 trillion dollars, while you and I have lost over 25% of our purchasing power. This is not a small issue, but rather a debt and currency crisis. And those who are buying gold understand that this crisis isn't over, but rather that it is just beginning. Now, these people, some of the smartest and wealthiest people, they already understand something. How smart money works in inflationary and hyperinflationary situations. So if you look at history, take Weimar Germany, Argentina, Venezuela, take your pick, any hyperinflationary situation where the cost of goods and services was doubling overnight, what happened to the fiat currency in these situations? Well, if you take fiat currency in any of them, by the end, it was worth nothing. It was barely worth the paper that it was printed on. If you look at silver in these situations, silver maintained its value. But the people who held true wealth, true power, through hyperinflationary situations were those who held physical gold. And I hate to be the one to tell you this, but do not think for a second that hyperinflation could never happen here. There's a reason that they say, believe in none of what you hear and half of what you see. The media, those in power, the elite, they love to tell us that inflation is under control. Remember, these are the same people who told us that inflation was transitory, nothing to worry about, right before it jumped up to 9% year over year. Inflation is coming well under control. Most of the price increases we've seen are, were expected and are expected to be temporary. Inflation is still stealing your wealth. Yes, at a slower rate than it was two years ago, but it's still stealing it nonetheless. Do not let them tell you otherwise, because any dollar or dollar denominated savings that you have is currently being chipped away at. As you're watching this video, you are losing your purchasing power, which means you're losing your savings. And while of course this is concerning the real fear, is around what is coming next. And this is a big reason why gold prices have continued to climb, because people understand that gold is a hedge against inflation. It is a safe store of value. And why are people concerned about inflation? Well, there are two primary levers that can get pulled in the economy that directly impact the money supply and therefore inflation. The first one is interest rates. So a couple of weeks ago, when the Federal Reserve made their 50 basis point rate cut, they essentially chose to stimulate the economy to help with jobs. When they made that decision, they understood that there was a very real chance that as they stimulated the economy, inflation could come back. And when I say come back, I don't mean that it ever left. I meant come back to the tune of nine or 10% and then some. And before you say, well, the Fed already backpedaled, they might not even do a cut. If they did, it would only be 25 basis points. Who really cares? Inflation won't come back. Remember, this is only one of two levers. The second lever is national debt. National debt that continues to climb at a rate of 7 million per minute, 10 billion per day, or 1 trillion every 100 days. If you for a second believe that we're in a recession or are barreling towards one, then you can rest assured that our national spending will increase. 
not decrease. I mean, look at our country today and what's going on with natural disasters. Despite record spending, we somehow don't even have enough funds to take care of our own citizens. Now, I am all for supporting our communities that need help, of course, but the concerning part is, where is all of the funds going? Well, I'll tell you, it's not going to natural disasters, it's not going to defense, it's not going to social security. It is going to the cost of servicing our debt. Life has gotten more expensive for everyone, not just you and I, but for the government as well. Due to the record amount of debt that they currently have, we are spending almost a trillion dollars just on the interest of the debt, just on servicing the debt. That is a trillion dollars that could have gone towards supporting communities or any kind of productive growth to help the GDP or times of crisis when you need to be flexible and adapt, but instead you can't because all of your funds are already tied up. Anyone who's ever gone behind on a credit card understands this all too well. Essentially, you just have to keep spending in order to stay afloat, but eventually it will catch up to you. And again, smart money understands this. This is why people are flocking to gold because they know that the worst, unfortunately, is not behind us, it is in front of us. And central banks know this too, which is a reason why central banks have been tremendous buyers of gold over the last two years. Incre increasing their reserves, especially in emerging markets. Now, many people assume that when central banks start buying as much gold as possible, they might know some kind of systemic risk that the rest of us aren't aware of, which could be true. But when surveyed, most emerging central banks had the same top two answers for why they were purchasing gold. Number one, inflation, and number two, geopolitical risk. This is the same reason many individuals choose to safeguard themselves with gold. Geopolitical risk can mean many different things to different people. If we look at it on a big scale, like China, Russia, and India, they might be stockpiling gold because the BRICS bloc coalition is working to dethrone the dollar and having gold helps them reduce their reliance on the West. There's the war in the Middle East. As the war continues to escalate each and every day, more uncertainty escalates with it, leading to more volatility. Volatility in the energy sector, specifically oil, which could mean a big rise in oil prices. This conjures up memories of the 1970s when inflation, or rather stagflation, which was stagnant growth, high unemployment, and high inflation, ran rampant. Now, during this time, what happened to gold? Gold once again had a tremendous rise because people understood that while their dollar was going to be worth less and less, if they were to put their dollars in a safe store of value like gold, it would only acquire wealth over time versus losing it. The answer has been there all along, but people still aren't getting it. And it's because we have been programmed not to understand. When you look at the price of gold, you're not trying to game the system. You're not trying to find the exact perfect time of when to buy it or when to sell it. That's not what gold is about. The reason we are buying gold is not to game the system, it's to get outside of their system. It's to get outside of the system that is designed for failure. I get asked all the time, I read your comments, okay, Taylor, I understand what you're saying, I'm ready to take action, what do I actually need to do? And the answer is simple. Make sure that you have a plan in place that involves gold and silver, physical gold and silver, that makes sense for your concerns and your goals so that you are protected against what's coming next. And if you are looking for how to start that journey or you want a second opinion because you've already started and you're concerned because we know the economic landscape continues to change, that is what our team is here for. Talk to one of our expert analysts, call the number below or click on the Calendly link and set up a time to talk with them. It all comes down to what you're preparing for. Again, if you have lost faith in the fiat system, which would make sense because it was never designed for you. If you have lost faith in the fiat system and you understand that things are only going to get worse, not better, then talk to us, talk to a member of our team and make sure you're protected today. That is my wish is that everyone out there is protected, that we take our power back and that we 
are prepared for what's coming next. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you being here as always. I'm Taylor Kenny with ITM Trading, your trusted source for all things gold, silver, and lifelong wealth protection. Until next time.